852 here, Big 550 KTRS. Coming up, uh, we were talking about the tasteful affair at the Four Seasons next Sunday, not this Sunday, because uh, no one schedules anything on the Sunday at the Masters. No one's dumb enough to do that. A uh, tasteful affair at the Four Seasons starting at 2 o'clock. Uh, Julie Pohl, like Telephone Pohl, is the executive director of Food Outreach, who's putting it on. Good morning, Julie Pohl. Good morning. Where'd you go to high school? St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Florissant, no. Missouri. All right, good. All right, <laughs> good enough. Um, <laughs> tell us about the uh, event. Well, it's an event attended by over a thousand people, with over forty-five restaurants, caterers, culinary experts. Right. And it is an experience of food, soulful music, of course, with Kim Massey. Sure. And uh, people, energy, and a lot of amazing live and silent auction items. Uh, per- the live a auction items this year yeah. are over the top. Of all the charity events I go to, I love these where the restaurants come and sort of give their little deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's like Carney's event. And, I mean, these are just a great way to sort of experience a lot of great food. You're not stuck at a table. You can sort of mingle, mix and mingle, and have a nice time and then raise a lot of money in the process. That's a great point, McGraw, because I think one of the things that's so amazing about St. Louis is all of its food fusions and experiences. St. Louis Mm -hmm. has such a great focus on culinary experience, and so A Tasteful Affair focuses on that because we provide nutritional support to uh, clients living with HIV, AIDS, and cancer. So it's a lovely way to celebrate our mission and mm-hmm. St. Louis. How long has Food Outreach been around? It's been around. It has, 28 years. 28 years. Yeah, 28 this is our 28th A Tasteful Affair. Uh, wow. How wow. many people do you serve on any given year? In a year, we serve 2,000 clients, over five hundred, over a half a million meals. And, and we're talking um, from young people, Our children. youngest client right now is 18 months old. And our oldest client will is just about to have their 90th birthday. And it's only focused right in the city of St. Louis, right? Nowhere else. That's right. We're in about 100 and over 190 zip codes in the St. Louis region. But we also serve clients in Illinois. Right. But, I mean, I mean, you go throughout the entire region. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How, how, you would say 180 zip codes? Over 190 zip codes. 190 mm. zip codes. Wow. And um, is this your biggest event for fundraising, the Tasteful Affair? It is. This is our biggest branded, really well-known event. Mm-hmm. People really look forward to this. One of the reasons why is because uh, there's a l- amazing silent auction items, but we have great trips that we feature in our live auction, and there's always a wonderful experience with entertainment. We've got you can experience, you know, getting your hands on some new art. You can get a chance to uh, take a trip to Costa Rica, Sonoma. Mm. Yeah, there's. It's wonderful. Cardinal Cubs tickets. Oh, there you go. When when you when you how, do you deliver the food to these homes? So, uh, well, most of our clients come to food outreach in Midtown. We're at the corner, basically, of um, Hello oh, Olive uh, and Compton. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we do deliver food to homebound clients. That's okay. a very important feature of what we do. We have a, a lot of clients who can't get to us. Sure. Uh, where do you get the food from? Uh, donations and things like that? or That's a great question. Half of our budget is spent on food, but we have a chef, Tanya Tucker, and an assistant chef who, um, whose primary responsibility is to make scratch-prepared food in our kitchen. Mm-hmm. That's a really important element of the nut- nutritional support we provide. So we uh, get donated uh, groceries from time to time, in-kind donations. Sure. But and we buy a ton of groceries yeah. in order to uh, make this, create this nutritional yeah. support. I know there's an issue with restaurants and uh, places that sort of make food and then have to throw out the food because they can't pass it along. I know that's a that's a major issue for for food banks like you guys. Because it you, is. I mean, you talk about that for a moment because that's a that's a big issue. Yeah, that's a, that's another really great point that you bring up. So we we do have to coordinate it, the acceptance of donations that are not what you and I think of as shelf stable. Uh, so we have to coordinate that through our client services and our our chefs. But we are always grateful for those items, and right. we've done that many times. You know, this unimaginable delivery of hamburger or chicken. Um, fresh vegetables, things like that. Right. It just has to be coordinated so that we know we're serving something. Right. It, it's, it's one thing to drop off a bag of old clothes at Goodwill, but you can't drop off a bag of old bananas uh-huh. at Food Outreach. It's just not going to work. That's right. And because our uh, dietitian nutritionist is coordinating our clients' medicines with 
their nutrition. We've got to be really thoughtful about how we right. un unfold all of that. For and them. is this often the only this food that they get from food outreach, the only food that they usually get. This is their source of nourishment, right? Right, Kelly. Thanks for bringing that up because um, the majority of our clients are um, extremely under resourced. Food scarcity is a big issue for them. So uh, they can, our clients can come in and uh, choose from a menu that's coordinated with their nutritional plan mm -hmm. for two weeks of groceries. And um, they can come back regularly uh, to, to get that food support. And another thing that that does, in addition to helping them with their health and wellness, is it alleviates a great deal of stress and anxiety yeah. Uh, considering where their food's going to come from. St. Louisans helping St. Louisans. 28 years, did you say? 28 years? 28 years. 28 years. Wow. Uh, it is April 17th at the Four Seasons. How much are tickets, and where do we get them? General admission are 75, and Senators you can go online to foodoutreach.org. We've got VIP tickets as well. All right, good. Uh, foodoutreach.org, foodoutreach.org. Julie Paul, thanks for coming in. Thanks for this opportunity. You got it. Yeah, no, St. Louisans helping St. Louisans, mm -hmm. right? It's uh, 28 years. Good thing. You guys were doing it before it was fashionable, too. Yeah. Uh, stay right there. Kim Kim Massey, more of Kim Massey next hour. And then the mayor of Ferguson, James Knowles, will join us. It is 858, the Big 550, KTRS. Red, red, moving, red.